Good afternoon. I am going to get back to working on Dashkin. Uh, the first thing I got to do today is it looks like I broke the Linux build stuff. So, what it's pissed off about is unknown type name, F platform raw input. So it's like the raw input plugin stuff is broken in Linux. Unknown type name, F platform raw. It's probably that we should just not include any of the raw input stuff whatsoever inside of our project if it's um, if it's the server something like that is probably the best bet. So let's think about this. Um, I need to look up my Linux build script and see exactly how I am not including stuff. Yeah, disable server plugins is inside of here, so disable server plugins. Okay, so this is how this is working. All right, so what I need to do here is let me change this file so it's only including this stuff on Windows. So I can just uh, snag this guy. Because it's not that I need to disable the plugin, it's that I just don't want to include stuff if it's not necessary. Alright, so we'll get rid of that. And then we need to see where in our project we're including the... Um, the raw input function library. So we're only including in two places, so this should be pretty easy just to pound it out. And where are we pounding things? UI? Yeah, there we go. That's our command. All right, so the viewport client and the other one, not too hard. All right, so let's just build this again and see what explodes, and then we'll just fix that. It should be pretty simple. Yeah, it's this raw input stuff. Do we have any more? Yeah, there's not too much to fix.
Not too hard. Alright, so that should do it for that file. And then the viewport client. Is that the only raw input stuff we've got? Looks like it. So that should fix it. And then we'll just have to wait for this thing to compile out. All right, well, this will just take a little while since we actually got it compiling stuff. I don't remember us having any compile issues. Like, we've had the Ravenpo plugin in here for a while, and it hasn't had any compile issues, so it's got to be that the includes, uh, just including it something, gets changed where I guess it actually gets compiled in. God, I need to kill Perforce because it's not working. This is denied. I mean, what's it trying to move anyway? It'd help if it printed out like what the hell it's actually trying to do instead of just like a million access denies. See, I mean, it's just doing linking. So, I mean, why would it get all pissed at us? We don't have anything else running. Really. I guess maybe it's got a whole bunch of compiler workers doing stupid crap. I was trying to build the editor? Oh, I thought I had this set on development server.
mean, this is inside of the raw input stuff. It's having problems. Where? I kind of just don't want to include the plugin. Yeah, I guess just raw input enabled false would probably do it. So let's see if this Unreal plugin tool that I wrote actually takes commas. Plugin, uh, let's see. No, it doesn't take commas. So what I'm going to want to do is is the name of that plugin around put. All right, we're going to want to enable for true that and for disabling the plugins, enable false. All right. So we'll just get rid of it entirely. Well, I've never built the editor for Linux before. So pretty simple. All right, so this was getting all pissed off about the plugin. So why don't we just try disabling that plugin? And I'm just disabling it directly in the project file. Well, it looks like I got past everything, so we well, might be fixed. Mm. 
but we'll just have to wait for it. Life of a programmer. It slips away. One compile at a time. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure that's going to work for everything, so... That should be good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to have to work on is the... Some configuration for those game servers. Let me check my calendar and some of the other stuff. Because I need to figure out a good way to... to set some of this up. Uh, for our dedicated servers. Basically, there's a couple things. Like, I'm thinking about a way to kind of be able to run commands on your dedicated server as kind of an admin, but we don't have like super account security at the moment for for some of it, and it may not be that we want only specific accounts to be able to run commands on the server. Like, let's say you you want somebody else to be able to it, you know, like in the match on a server or spawn bots or something, even if you're not there, you'd want to give somebody else permission. And like we could build a big permission system or some crap, or we could just give you like a kind of a server admin password. And we could just let users just be like, ah, the password is password. And then you'd basically like go into the game options and like enter the server password, and then it would be like, oh, okay, yeah, you have access. So it'd be pretty simple. All right, well, I think we got everything running here. I need to switch this over to development server. All right, that should give us a much better idea. Because I thought it was on server. It's, it, it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes to switch stuff. Alright, well hopefully this shouldn't take two million years. Yeah, it'll just take one million years. I will be right back.
Yeah, we have two million warnings for Linux. I am not going to fix any of them. I mean, I might eventually. But who cares? Certainly not I. So yeah, I think a server password is probably the way to go for the dedicated server. Um, as opposed to a list of accounts, just because they're not at the moment. What is this bitching about? Multiple definition of get current frame? Is that going to be a problem? The linker failed with exit codes on some stuff. It probably just needs like a full clean or some shit to get it to really work. Alright, I'm going to call that good to go then. So let's just uh, switch back to development editor. Yeah, it's going to take two million years just to switch back to the fucking editor. And win 64. I know it's real hard Visual Studio. You're trying to you're trying to change one string in your configuration file, and that that's a real tall order. All right, so raw input is being moved to only if we're on Windows. Actually, let's go to the development server and make sure it builds here. Make sure the development server builds on Windows properly. Um, what we need to do is we need to have like a pound if for the server well Hawkins or Hawkins let's see how to find for a server of rails at this place
Okay, so with server code, is supposedly something that exists in the project. So let's actually take a look at that. See if it's used by anything else. Hawkins? Yeah, all right. Uh, welcome, I'm just, I'm trying to fix my server build. I included some dependencies for uh, some input stuff and I broke some of my server stuff on Linux, so. Trying to fix that at the moment. Can you do ORs on a uh, town defines? So I guess it's, I don't want to modify the network driver. Um, so really it's just, if this is a server, we don't want it. So it's not a Windows thing specifically. Yeah, I'm sure it'll get it done. Can we do not defines? It's been just a while since I've had to deal with all this stuff. So the other one is in system utils. So let's just see if this does it. And we need to go to our build CS and we need to check if the target dot um, is server. Can we we can't do pound defines in here. But basically, I want to put this. Um, Well, this isn't going to be very helpful, is it? Okay, I want to find the definition of the target rules. God damn it. Read only target.
Uh, fucking hell. I wish I knew where these things were. Alright, so I, I need to just go look at some build CS files and see if... I hate it when I have to do this. I just, like, the documentation is so bad on something that you basically are like, well, I have to go dig into build CS files to see if, you know, there's something in there that, you know, works that has a rule for only the server so you just gotta go dig into the damn plugins Or do I already have this? Okay, so it's type. So it's like target type server or target type client, target type editor. All right, so we need Of course, it's hidden my fucking build file now that I have it. All right. So if target.type equals target type does not equal target type server, then we're going to include this. All right, let's see if that does it. I mean, probably we can do the same thing with the web browser, but it's not breaking anything, so I'll just leave it alone. Unreal build system target files. All right. So I think that'll work.
Useful for dedicated servers. Yeah, okay. So that's that's the right target type, supposedly. And it looks like it built. All right, good, it did build. All right, so we can go ahead and revert our unchanged files and submit that. So that should fix our dedicated servers. And let's go kick that build off. All right, cool. Let's close all these things, switch to our editor, and get that built. Yeah, this is the compiling stream. It's where I compile um, code and do nothing else. Alright, so the next thing I should be working on see is this server config stuff So I had the server and I was calling setup and all this stuff. Um, and I was going to change this bat file. So that it would actually write out this server config for us. Uh, just a simple server config sort of thing so that it would get people started with um, when they run it. So right now it just looks like this. It'll tell you if your stuff doesn't exist and where to go get it. Um, other than that, like configure server and um, we'll see. So let's get this building in the background. So what we want to do is we want the configure it's basically going to do a whole bunch of waiting for your inputs. Um, so what do we want to do? Uh, enter your game name. So Enter gain name. All right, so you entered this, so we're gonna set um, game name to nothing. Enter game name. Uh, all right, so time limit. It's going to be this, so enter time limit default time limit in seconds. All right, it's going to be score to win, so enter default score to win. Team size max. All right, so enter default uh, team size max. All right, so the editor worked there. Let me just boot it up and make sure it's doing its stuff. What 
update the channel. We're no longer fixing Linux. We're just waiting for the giant monolithic build to uh, roll through. Alright. It'll go do its stuff. It's working. So pop up in just a second. I just want to make sure it works on my Super Nintendo controller. Come on, Unreal, you can you can compile those assets. Sync plugged in. Yeah, we got raw input plug in, in there. Um, did I break it? Fuck. Okay, yeah, our pound defines probably wrong here. It's not with server code. It's like, uh, that's yeah, that's gonna be wrong. Fuck. So it's going to be. Sound defines for server and real. Dedicated server only code, C plus plus on real. No, with server code is not good enough. It's not with server code, it's basically if we are only a dedicated server, because with server code is going to be one. So, is there a way to set like a, a pound define inside of these things? Yeah, it's like this definitions, maybe. Yeah, let's see. This is setting preprocessor defines in a module. It's possible to adding a definition, so it's just definitions.add. Okay, so what I want to do here is inside of dashkinserver.target, um, I want to add a pound define. Actually, probably for all these things. Uh, so definitions dot add we're gonna say uh, dashkin server only equals zero all right 
and this one is going to be target type is game. Dash can server only, and then this one dash can server only is one. All right, so if dash can server only just gotta fix all this crap. Ah. What was the other file? The other file was our viewport client. So we'll go fix that. All right, this should, uh, when we build it, it should actually compile these things in here now. The name definitions does not exist in the current context. Uh, Target.definitions? Does not contain definitions. All right. It has to be inside of mar module rules. All right. I can't just nicely set this crap up at the top level. I got to go into the goddamn module to do it. All right. Fine. Whatever. Let's see how it is. All right, well, we'll see if this thing actually does what we want it to. Nope. Everything is always impossible. There's no point. Hello, Johnny V. Greetings, yes. Good afternoon. I'm just working on trying to get back into actually streaming development. I haven't. I got out of practice for that because we just had so much work to do than being presentable and being working wasn't really working out. So for this year, though, for Brackensack, we're hopefully have a less ridiculous schedule for the rest of the year so I don't die of exhaustion. So that means I should have time to stream.
And I think it's easier for me to stream stuff somewhat because I'm working on like a bunch of systems and crap like that versus Adam, who's usually doing a lot more of creating the game. So he's like, oh, I don't really want to stream this because I want it to be a surprise. It's like, eh. Because <laughs> he's like actually in the editor doing a whole bunch of stuff and I'm usually just in code and maybe once every 30 minutes I'll actually show something that could potentially be spoilers. All right, so that built, um, and I don't see Visual Studio hacking our code out, so let's make sure we actually get our uh, raw input support properly working. And then maybe I can get back to the server configuration. All right, found devices. All right, let's go to settings, controls, up, down, left, right, uh, jump. Dash will be. Right bumper, always dash true. Punch is this, kick is this, pop up is this, slippery is that. All right. So I've got my awesome Super Nintendo controller and totally works. <laughs> oh man, colliding with the wall is just too funny. I should be holding the dash button so I can walk. Oh no, spoilers! I found the secret area! All right, cool. So that works. Excellent. So I can go check that in. All right, what is this temporary file? It's What is this shit? We don't want that. Can you get out of here? Stupid temporary file. Fixing our input again. And let's go kick that build off again. Oh, why did it explode? Let's see. Unable to load module because the file couldn't be loaded by the OS. Eh. All right, I don't know. I'll just kick off that build again, and we'll do a. We'll just see if it explodes once more.
and I'll keep an eye on it and I'll go check back on it. Alright, back to our config. Alright, so team max size. Uh, so we want the game port. Um, Enter game port. I'll recommend seven 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 seven. Let's see beacon port seven seven eight seven. Actually, yeah. Public, publicly listed um, equals true. Is enter if publicly listed true slash false. All right, so. Allow team swap is true, so enter if allow team swap true or false. Uh, and enter map path. Uh, uh, Sunny day. Night. Let's see. Um